there are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. That's Where great. we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. I can and hardly everyone will be wait. Able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. Uh, be careful who you trust. Sarah, you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? Mm. No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. Doesn't he look a bit old? I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Uh, Please. I'm not asking for much. No. I won't stop you, Sarah. But I won't make excuses for you either. You better remember that. I don't know how many more chances I'll get. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. Ah, there's that kid. He didn't die. He did get bruised, though. Wave him away, go to him. Fuck off! <laughs> oh, and he walks over. What do you think you're doing? Surprised to see me, eh? Hell yeah. Because the way you left me, you can't have thought you were going to see me again. How'd you get away? How did you escape the guard? I got my hand on a rock. I hit him. Over and over. Oh, so he dies regardless. I may not look like much, but I know how to survive. And he deserved what he got for what he tried to do to you. But I'm here to warn you. I left you to die I was on down purpose. I last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh. I mean, he's barely t they talking already loud. know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe for either of us. Please tell me you took care of it. Believe me, he'll never show up again. Oh, shit. What? What is it? If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. A there was another zone. Lannister guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, no. We have to kill him. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Why are you helping me? Why are you helping me? What do you mean? I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. Why... Why are you we a help friend? help each other. Or it's both our heads. And why were what you What were you even head? doing there that night? I once told you, there are people who'd be willing to help you. People who want you alive. I'm here to make sure that happens. Wait, what? what? You mean someone... Mira? My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? <laughs> Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Thank you for oh, saving. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. She looks pissed. Marjorie expects <laughs> us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, if you really want to know... First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about 
this festival they have where they celebrate. Okay. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, The then... King's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. Well, fuck you too. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the King. She said she'd serve the King, yet now she puts your needs first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. <laughs> the King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. I... Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place Damn. is not with my brother, Tyrion. Don't worry, I'll kill you if given the chance. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah? What do you know of this? I couldn't say, my lady. She's as much a mystery to me as she is to you. <laughs> I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? I did what I took I care to. of my family. On my own. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Alright. The audio changes are very sudden, like... Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. You'd have done the same, I'm bitch. only trying to help my family. You would do the same for yours. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. All right. Yeah, sometimes I notice the, uh, the audio changes. Like, you can tell that the voice actor recorded it in a different, like a separate session. Wakey, wakey, Roderick. It looks like he can walk again. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. What? He's he's come to kill me too. In the house. You can't let this go on. I'll they take care of this. Power. Don't worry, Sally. I'll deal with them. Hurry! <laughs> I'll check on Mother. Damn. What the fuck are they doing? What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. You will have your way. I will give you your way. Stop and disperse. This ends now. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. The fuck are you? 
all of you. Show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth born son of Lord fourth. Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. And Make horror. no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live. You'll stay where I tell you. I don't care if you're happy or not, you'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here Just under the orders of Bruce Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever- We do what we were sent here to do. You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. Yeah. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Stop, Roderick. damn. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Yeah, I eh? do. I do. I'm the only lord here. Come on. We could always kill them when they're asleep. When they don't have their armor on. Griff Whitehill. That snot nosed fourth ball. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. Whether he rides out on horseback, or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. Bay of Ice. Bear we need Island. to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. So what? He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. 
but we have to do something. You can pick. You could just, my lord, pretend he's already give dead. Us a target to aim for. Oh, I actually have to choose. Expel Griff. Save Ryan. Now that that would be the good thing to do, but we're playing evil, and I hate this dude. So, uh, fuck Griff. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If he you can handle himself, Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. Forgive me, my lady. Speak true. Would you give up this house? But your brother. Fuck we him. must secure Ironrath, so we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. Then it's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another thirty or forty men. But the Whitals are already fortified inside Ironrath. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asha and Mira. How? Asha means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. Waiting is not an option. Will kindly stand I think that's the worst choice. We pull ourselves together. We press on. It's no use waiting. We have a plan, my lord. But we must wait for the pieces to come together. Fuck the pieces. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord. My lord. There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I. And she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Uh, I understand your hesitation. Set the meeting. Arrange meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And or we can sure kidnap no her. Knows. For now at least. Good. Take his fourth son and his his daughter. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point when the time comes. 